Hi everyone, welcome back to Simply a Breeze. Um, I didn't record an intro for this video, so I am going to give you an intro. Hi, hello, my name is Bree, um, and my channel is Simply a Breeze, where we are going to talk and discuss all things life skills that are going to help you as a young adult and honestly, I don't even think it just applies to young adults anymore. I think it applies to teenagers. I think it applies to adults that are older than me. So I am going to turn 30, just to give you a frame of reference. I'm 29 um, and I just want to share all these life skills that I was given to enter into the world as an adult. So today we are talking about how to butcher a chicken, a whole chicken, okay? Let me clarify, we, we will be butchering a chicken we bought from the grocery store we will not be dispatching any birds here, but I am going to show you how to break down a whole chicken that you buy from the grocery store as a means to save yourself money when you are on a budget. Okay, so a little disclaimer, we will be cutting up raw meat. So if that makes you squeamish, this may not be for you, but I'm gonna give that disclaimer here and now. With that, the reason that I think that this is so important is because these chickens were on sale and it was a pretty incredible sale and one of these chickens kept me fed for about two weeks, which is pretty impressive because I used it as lunch for two weeks when I went to work. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you have been around for a little bit and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy watching my content and we've got more more on the way. I got three chickens um, between 520 and 578 per bird, um, which was a pretty great deal at my local King Supers. Um, also Kroger, depending on where you are. Um, so that was a great find and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out the chicken breast, the chicken thighs, the chicken legs, and the wings and then I'm going to save um, the rest of the carcass that I cut all the meat off of. I'm going to stick it in the freezer for when it's time for me to make more chicken broth. Um, right now I have enough but I'm not going to let any part of that bird go to waste. We are going to benefit from it. So for the price of $16 I'm going to get six chicken breasts, six chicken thighs, six chicken legs, and technically chicken wings, like it's two pieces of the wing that we eat. So in reality, I'm going to get, what, 12 chicken wings for 16 bucks, plus with how, whatever how much broth I end up making in the future. We are gonna go ahead and breast and cut out the thighs of these chickens. Um, I am, I did make the decision to go ahead and keep one of these whole, that way we could just have a whole roast chicken and we could eat off of it throughout the day. I can make a whole meal around it, we can have salads around it. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do here. And I've got my cleaned bowl here and all I'm going to do is as I am parting it out I'm just going to stick all of the parts in here and then go back and then wash and package everything up after the fact. Um, and I also think I'm going to get a glass dish that way as I open this up I'm not making a huge mess everywhere. Um, this is our popcorn bowl and I don't really want to put raw chicken in our popcorn bowl. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and put one of these back into the fridge. I think I'm going to put the big guy back in the fridge. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of utensils. This is going to be my fillet knife. This is going to be for separating the chicken breast from the carcass. Okay. I also have my shears and a bigger knife for breaking through some of the joints of the chicken because that can be a little tough. And the only reason I have a general idea of what I am doing is because we hunt waterfowl, we hunt goose, and the general anatomy is the same in terms of like the fact that it is a bird, okay? So I have a general idea of how I need to cut this up. So I'll take you along with me as we do this and maybe you'll learn how to cut up a chicken as well. I've never done this before. This, this is gonna be a really fun adventure. I'm 
I've never done this with chicken. Let me clarify. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen my fillet knife real quick. Cause I want those cuts to be nice and smooth. I'm gonna clean this whole counter after the fact. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let those juices drain really quickly. We got this little pad right here. We're gonna go ahead and just. Oh, awesome! This came with the gizzards and the neck. Oh, that's wonderful. Those organs have a lot of nutrients. Okay, don't let them go to waste. I'll show you what I plan on doing with that. Okay, so now you can take the skin off. I may just leave the skin on, in all honesty. But what you wanna do is you wanna find this um, breastplate right here. So there's a, you can feel the bone. All I'm gonna do, yeah, I think for the breast, I'm gonna to have to cut the skin off. And this is why you want a sharp knife, okay? We're gonna go ahead and pull off the skin. Okay. Then all I'm gonna do is get this a really good slice. Okay. We're breaking through this membrane out here. Let's see. Am I okay? So it looks like. My knife slid to the left of this bone right here. So I'm gonna try and hug this bone the whole way down. There's, I did cut through a bone up here. Yep, I broke through the collarbone. You can feel it. Okay, so what I am separating up here Okay, so what I just separated right here, this right here is the chicken breast. This is that tenderloin piece right here. So this is why tenderloins are so expensive compared to a lot of other pieces of chicken because it's such a small cut. And if I wasn't careful, I could have completely botched this whole thing. But because I knew how I needed to cut this, the tenderloin is actually still, for the most part, intact. So now, that's where the tenderloin. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut along the carcass. We'll turn you. So now I just need to get this piece off or 
I've got to work around this piece of collarbone that snapped off or that I cut through I should say. There we go. And there is one chicken tenderloin and I'll go ahead and rinse all this off but right now I just need it off the bird. I am actually going to try, I may just leave this meat. Let me see if I can get it off, how quickly I can get it off. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the breast. I'm just gonna peel this membrane off because it's harder for the knife to get through it. All I'm doing is pulling the skin and the membrane down. Okay, just stick that there. And then I'm gonna keep cutting along this guy, right along there. I just pulled out part of the wishbone. This is the collarbone. But the wishbone, it would also go up, it go here, and then a piece would stick up. I just cut through it. All right, now we're gonna cut up. Let me see. Okay, so this is where the wing meets the breast. So I'm going to try to keep this meat intact. Always be aware of where your fingers are when you're doing this. This is going to be very, very easy for you to cut yourself. Look at that gorgeous chicken breast right there, guys. I'm not worried about chicken fat. I know some people are. Look at how beautiful that guy is. And we'll clean all of that up. Okay, so now the, the breast is out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other breast before I move on to the legs and the thighs and the wings. So here's the other side of this plate right here. It's a little more obvious now that it's exposed. And I'm just gonna keep my knife butted up against it because that's how I'm going to get this tenderloin to come out as a whole piece. And I'm gonna try not to cut through the collarbone this time. Although I do think it made my life just a little bit easier. We're just gonna work our way around. Okay, I'm gonna pull, like I did the other time, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this skin back once again. This one, it looks like I was able to just get everything separated. Now I'm just going to keep on cutting. It's a little hard for me to get you a good angle on both sides. I'm going to try. But we're doing the exact same thing we did on the other side. The only difference is it's on the other side. And right now what I'm trying to accomplish is get as much meat off of this bird as possible because I'm going to use the rest of this carcass for chicken broth and if you guys know if you get quality broths of any kind beef or chicken um, if you want quality you're gonna pay for it so if I can make it myself with a quality humanely raised bird 
I'm gonna save myself a bunch of money. Let's see. Let's see if I can get the tenderloin detached. And where I need to work my knife to get that accomplished. But again, this whole time I'm trying not to force the knife. That is how you are gonna get hurt. If you are applying a lot of pressure and force to this knife, it's not sharp enough which this one's definitely not, but I'm trying to be mindful of that and not use a whole lot of pressure, not use a whole lot of force because that is how you cut yourself. It's how you cut yourself big time. So be very conscious, just do it in strokes and do not force it. Here it goes, there we go. There is the second tenderloin from this bird. Now I can go ahead, start working on getting the breast attached. There's a bone in there, there it is, okay. We avoided that bone and I'm just gonna work my way around. Let me get to the other side so I know what all I'm cutting. Okay, boots move. Don't do it, boots. I know what you're contemplating over there. I'm not gonna be very happy if you do it. All right, we are so close. Now I'm gonna work my way up. Oh, look at that chicken breast, it's gorgeous. Okay, so now we got most of the meat. There's still a little bit of the breast here, but that's okay. This is gonna add some really great flavor when we go to make the broth. So now, here's our chicken wing. So people eat this portion of the wing. This is like the little drumstick of the wing. And then this is the little two boned piece of the chicken wings, okay? So technically the wing is these two pieces that we eat. And then this I'll keep to add to my chicken broth. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in here and find the joint. Let's see if I can snap it. Maybe not, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead in here and cut the skin. There we go. Let's see if we can find where the joint meets. I'm just gonna try and chop right through it. There we go. We got right, we got right through that joint, guys, which is perfect, absolutely perfect. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all this extra skin. None of this is gonna go to waste. This is all gonna end up in the broth mixture. It's, it, it's gonna be totally fine. So we're gonna set this right there for the moment so I can get the other wing off. We're gonna try and completely deconstruct this bird. I probably should have taken my watch off. I'll do that here in a minute when we switch to the other bird. Okay, let's find that joint. The joint for me is really hard to show you, um, but just follow, there's a bone here there's a bone here, and then when it starts to rotate, just follow that. And you just cut right through it. Notice how I get my, I'm putting a lot of pressure, so I move my hands out of the way, okay? Because I do not want my fingers in the way of all of that force. Would be a very, very bad day. There we go, we're gonna put that there. Okay, so now all we have left are the legs. And let's see how we're gonna do this. I want to keep the skin on my legs and I may just keep these in quarters. Um, I like chicken quarters too. We can use them just about the same way. So 
let's see if we can get that. Um, right now what I'm trying to do is get to the joints where all of this is gonna is being housed. There's a lot of meat in here. So we want to make sure we get as much of that meat as we can. So that's good stuff. Let me get my fingers out of the way. There's a nice tendon right there. Go through that. Where is right in here. Okay, so all I did was I worked the bird. Okay, I'm gonna line this up and see if I can just chop through it. Nope, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hug this. There we go, found the joint. Oh, and I might have cut through it. Oh, fantastic guys, we did find it. Now we just need to finish popping it out. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just gonna, there's another flat bone along here and I'm just gonna run my knife along that. There we go, I'm cutting through a bone. I don't want any bone. Look at that. We have a nice chicken quarter. That's just wonderful. This is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna keep the skin on for the purpose that when you're cooking, it'll help retain all of that moisture. So we wanna maintain this skin just to help keep the moisture in the bird so we're not overcooking it and drying it out. All right, now we're gonna work to the other side. Interesting. I did cut this piece off. So now what we're gonna do I went ahead and I cut through this little membrane right here just so I could get a clearer shot of where that joint was. That joint is back in here, okay? So you gotta really feel for it. Okay, we're gonna open this bird back up a little. At least I wanted to, hang on. All right, I think I can feel it right. There we go. Let's see if we can. Okay. We're just gonna work the knife down this back end until we run into the joint. Maybe that'll make life a little, yeah. That made life a lot easier for me. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna insert the knife right at the joint, break through, and then once we're through, just gonna cut all the way down. We're just gonna go ahead and release this skin. There we go. Oh, I think I did even better on this than the other one, which is just fantastic. There we go. Look at all that skin. Oh, look at that gorgeous. So this is the drumstick and the chicken thigh. And then the rest of this bird, we're gonna keep the whole carcass. We're just gonna shove all of this back in there. I'm going to probably put all of the necks and the gizzards in a different bag. We'll save that for something else as well. So now, I'll set that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and part out the wing and so I'm going to find a joint for this top piece and this top wing it's going to go to chicken broth as well nothing is going to be wasted here do not worry we're going to cut through here we're going to find this other joint we found it and I'm trying to be very careful not to slice open my finger There it is, right there. Okay, so now I just need to cut through all of this skin. There you go, so now you've got that piece of the chicken wing, you've got the drumstick of the chicken wing, and that's just gonna be perfect. So now let's do it to the other side. We're gonna cut through this joint, 
The great thing about chicken is their bones are relatively fragile anyway, so you should be able to cut through the wing pretty easily. So let me find the joint. Okay, we're just gonna cut through this skin right here. I'm just gonna cut all around the skin just to make sure I find where this, where I need to cut through this joint. It's right there. So let me, let me throw a disclaimer in here now. I'm sure there is a much different way that this can be done. It's just the way that I've decided or figured out how to do it, okay? So if you wanna find other ways to do this, this is not the only way, this is just how I did it. So now we have one chicken carcass done. Let me wash my hands, I'm gonna take my watch off. I'm gonna get a bag to put that in so I can get it in the fridge so it's not just sitting out. I'm also gonna put this in a different bag because these are valuable. These are incredibly valuable. We've got the gizzard, I think we got the liver, we've got the heart, we've got the lungs. So this is all good, good meat. All right, so chicken carcass. It's gonna go into there. And gizzards and the like go in there. Now I'm gonna put those in the fridge. All right, on to bird number two. Okay, so, so far I have told you that buying a whole chicken is more cost effective. So far I have told you that I got these chickens at a discounted rate. So these chickens as a whole at my local King Supers are generally $1.69 per pound. What I got all three of these chickens at was $1.10 per pound. For my three chickens, I got a 5.25 pound bird, I got a 4.73 pound bird, and I got a 4.82 pound bird, coming to a total of $16.28 for 14.8 pounds of chicken. That's a pretty smoking deal. That also, that $1.10 per pound, and remember that $1.10 per pound, the carcasses that I left over are also going to turn into chicken broth. So I, I'm, I'm going to get my chicken broth practically for next to nothing, which is also pretty exciting. With that, from the chickens that I did go ahead and butcher, I got four chicken breasts, four chicken thighs, four chicken legs. The thighs and the legs I kept together as chicken quarters. So I got, it was four chicken quarters but I also got eight chicken wings. Now I want to go ahead and compare the price for you of what this would have been if I hadn't gotten it on discount because seeing these numbers totally changes the way that you're going to look at this because normally you're like, oh, a 50 cent difference per pound isn't a big deal until you see the difference. And the difference is almost shocking. I didn't quite realize that this number was going to shock me when I calculated it. So here we go. So at the discounted rate, my birds cost $5.78, $5.20, and $5.30. That was at $1.10 per pound for my three birds. Now, had I purchased these birds not on discount, I would have paid eight dollars and eighty seven cents seven dollars and ninety nine cents and eight dollars and fifteen cents respectively all of those totals are well over a two dollar difference so the overall difference is 
at the discounted rate, I paid $16.28. If I had paid full price, I would have paid $25.01, which in hindsight is still not a bad deal, but I'm just trying to convey the savings that I got by processing this two birds myself instead of buying the individual parts. So now that we know that the whole chicken cost $1.10, that also means that at the discounted rate, the chicken breast, the tenderloins, the legs, the thighs, and the wings would have all cost $1.10 per pound because that is how much the entire bird was that I purchased. With that, here are the prices on a regular basis if you were to buy the individual parts. Chicken breasts at my local King Supers goes for $4.99 per pound. Chicken tenderloins are even more, and they're $5.99 per pound. The chicken legs are $2.19 per pound. That is because they still have the bone in them, and also because the skin is generally still on them. It's a, a greater premium if you debone and deskin, and I'll show you that here in a second. The chicken thighs that are bone in are also $2.19. And then look, when we go to the boneless, skinless thighs, they go up to $3.99 per pound. And then unfortunately, my King Supers app wasn't going to give me the total cost per pound for my chicken wings, but it did say that they were variable, which means that their price is definitely over $1.10 per pound. I do know that chicken wings are pretty expensive on a per pound basis. I believe that they are actually more expensive than chicken breasts just because they are such a small thing that you get off the bird and they take a little bit more to process. Okay, we got chicken necks and gizzards, two chicken carcasses, four chicken broth. These are going to go in the deep freeze, and they will stay there until we're ready to use them in some shape or form. The chicken thighs, the tenderloins, the breasts, and the wings, I'm going to package up into their own little food saver bags, and then I'm going to label them, and I'm also going to put them into the deep freeze. So this is a very cost-effective way to buy your chicken. Plus, then you get all of the fixings, the essential part anyways, for making your own chicken broth. And chicken broth alone makes buying the whole chicken worth it. Because just to get, I believe, a quart of chicken broth from the store that is organic and has clean ingredients, you're going to pay a very large amount compared to what I would be comfortable with paying for chicken broth. So just something to keep in mind as an option because you don't have to pressure can your chicken broth if you don't want to. You can freeze it and you can store your chicken broth in the freezer and just pull it out to thaw whenever you want to use it. So that is a way to preserve your chicken. chicken quarters, four chicken breasts, four chicken tenderloins, and eight chicken wings. And just with the two birds, okay, I got all of this for $11. It's a pretty good deal for chicken, just so you guys know. 
Um, so if you are on a budget and money is tight, look for those sales at your local grocery store for discount whole chickens. Um, because this, I was actually putting off buying chicken because I knew it was going to be expensive because I buy it in bulk, but I couldn't pass up this opportunity. So now I can push off buying bulk chicken for just a little bit longer until I've saved up enough money to do that kind of grocery shopping. So just things to keep in mind. So I hope you found this insightful and helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider subscribing and I hope you go check out some of my other videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.